Well, they did it after an unprecedented year, the last day of school today for Duval and Clay counties. Now, Leah Shields, before she had to go out to breaking news, she filed this report taking a look back at just a heck of a school year. This time last year, students didn't even know when they'd be back in school in person. Now they're leaving, taking off the mask, and when they return, masks will be optional. And even just saying that, well, it took a lot to get to this point. COVID-19 was the great unknown that switched up every aspect of our lives. Students who waited 12 years to graduate had a drop of the dream of walking across the stage in 2020. When I read the email, I don't think I've ever been more devastated in my life. School districts scrambled to figure out how to get students back in school in person after months out. That that was really, really difficult, though, just being completely online with them. Masks, desk shields and social distancing became the norm if you wanted to be in the same room as your teacher. Hundreds of families chose virtual learning as a safety precaution. No matter where the students were, though, teachers never gave up hope. Just a little longer. As the clock struck midnight for 2021, new hope. The vaccine rollout was underway. I wanted to get the shot because I want to feel safe going back to school. Mere months into vaccination efforts, kids as young as 12 have been approved for a COVID-19 vaccine. Students will walk across the stage for graduation this year. The pandemic, not over yet, but school is, and that means they did it. I have to give a big shout out to our teachers who have just gone above and beyond this year. You'll hear from some of them in the next half hour on Good Morning Jacksonville. In San Marco, Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.